Okay, so here's my review of the 10,000 interval shorts with the liner and the five inch version. So I've had, I have the interval short seven inch, no liner, because personally, I don't like liners. I kind of like to have the boys uh, roam free and I like to work out in boxers. I don't like boxer briefs. Anyway, that's per personal preference. So I got the interval short in the seven inch to try out, got a couple of them. Um, just different colors and uh, they're good shorts. I like them. Personally, I thought seven inch turned out to be a little bit too long. Um, for some of my height, five, six, I think honestly anyone five, six for sure should wear five inch inseam shorts because otherwise longer shorts make you look short and you shouldn't skip leg day anyway. And you got to show off your work. The, the other thing is, um, they didn't have five inch shorts in stock. So I got the seven inches. Um, <clears throat> pro tip, order your shorts uh, later in the year. They're cheaper and hopefully they'll, they'll be uh, on sale and uh, you'll get, uh, get them cheaper. Anyway, they had a, uh, speaking of which, they had a great deal on um, these light gray, I think they call them stone, the light gray shorts. Uh, for the holidays. So I went ahead and wanted to try and they had the five inch in stock interval short with a liner. So I wanted to try the liner. And so I got them these and I got a pair of set shorts in uh, five inch inseam also. And I had seen reviews saying that the set shorts and the ironically the tactical short are cut slimmer, but these reviews were a year or two old. So I, I was hoping that uh, 10,000 would update the fit of those shorts, but they did not. And I'll get to the fit of the set short in a minute. But anyway, like I said, I think the seven inch on me interval short without the liner is a little bit too baggy, but it's really comfortable. I mean, you could do all, you do full workouts and never have to feel like uh, you have to um, be modest or whatever. And so they're great shorts. If you had to have one safe, length short the seven inches way to go but like i said on a shorter guy five inches good these that said i think these shorts are awesome the liner is very very comfortable and if you had to get shorts with liners these are the ones i would get um they don't ride up they don't uh, they're not uncomfortable and the only thing is is what i would say is <laughs> this phone pocket that they tout as a um benefit is kind of ridiculous because you could barely fit a phone in there um maybe one without a case uh, but if you're active you're gonna have a case anyway so um these shorts are awesome i like them a lot I like the fact they have pockets um since you're not running in them and it has a side pocket to put your key if you are running with them we're going to for a workout um the waistband's comfortable. I like wide waistbands. And the other thing is I like is that the drawstring is flat lock, so it's not a cord. And what tends to happen on wide waistband shorts with a cord is it ends up being like uh, uh, you're getting garroted around your waist. And it, uh, it's like a little string that just cuts into it. Where this, it lays flat, hence the flat lock. And it's just more comfortable. And these are small details and I have a ton of shorts and I'm trying to find the perfect short. And if I had to say, I would say that the interval five inch short with a liner is my favorite pair of shorts now. And I, if I had to have one pair of short, this would be it because you don't need any underwear and these are supposedly antimicrobial. So you can um, go a little bit longer without washing them and uh, you don't have to carry underwear and you don't have to worry about exposing someone if you're doing something extreme um but yeah i think these are great the um no back pocket which is good because there's um some shorts with back pockets that and have a zip like running 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 ones if you sit down um and they tend to have these uh rubber coated zipper pulls but the problem is is when the zipper pull is like sticking out a little bit and then you sit down in a car seat or whatever it jabs you in the back not a big deal but it is a little bit inconvenient so you got to make sure that the tab is down and then you sit back 
again, small detail. And so I'll show you the set short in a minute. Okay, so these are the set shorts and they're like, they're very, very slim, let me put it that way. Uh, standing, they're fine. But what I've noticed is the, compared to the interval shorts, is that these are just straight legged. So they're fine when they're, they're uh, you're standing, but what happens is when you squat, it's, it's, it's tight. It feels, and then it comes up and that's what happens. Um, so then you have to constantly do this. And though I measured with a tape that it is a five inch inseam measured from, you know, basically the bottom all the way to the end of the leg, it's the lack of the flare that uh, makes these problematic. And I can see, argue when you go into the water, you kind of want a slim suit because when you get out of the water, it's not like, or when you're in the water, it's not kind of like flowing all over. But the problem is, is when you have to get out, you're constantly doing this, it gets annoying. And then the other thing is, is I ha I've had tight legged swim shorts and what happens is a little bit of sand gets in there and it chafes and this little seam will rub you raw on your uh, on your thigh so it's actually preferable to have a little bit more billowing in your short so in conclusion i'd say interval short five inch awesome with a liner um any honestly any of their shorts with the, the liner the cost even at full price compared to a lot of the other shorts i've tried um like lululemon Highly, highly I like, but the problem is their liner is a traditional like brief style, which I thought I would like, but the problem is it's not as aggressive as say the, the liner in Patagonia's baggy shorts. I mean, I can't even wear them. The, 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 the seam right here, like just totally digs into the, your, your undercarriage. Uh, the, the highlight one's better, but the problem is eventually it will start to like feel like it's cutting down there. And if you had to get a short with a liner, that's what I'd say. At the interval, um, any of theirs, like foundation, um, any of their shorts, 10,000 shorts are really good, especially for the price. Um, yeah, so like I've tried a lot of shorts. Um, even try the Roan ones, and the Roan ones fit, fit funny. Um, talk about courtesy sizing. Anyway, the, uh, yeah, 10,000 shorts, awesome. Thanks for watching.